To absolutely nobody's surprise, Justice has started off this season strongly. However, this week he goes up against probably the scariest collection of offensive Pokemon in the league. So let's find out if Zeke can overcome the Kingdras, or if Justice, as he so often does, will prevail. Hello, everyone, and welcome to week three. Wow, I can't believe this is week three, right? I'm, I'm not crazy. This is week three. Okay, yeah, week three and uh, of the GSPL, and we have the uh, Kingdras versus the Dittos, uh, and we are joined here. Well, I guess I should say uh, we have Co-Commissioner Harrison on the line. Hey. hey. As well as uh, the owner of the Kingdras, Justice. Hello. Hello, Justice. And you guys just played this game, I take it, right? Like, you just sent it over and it's fresh yes. in your mind? Yeah, just okay. like half an hour ago. Cool. Cool. Um, okay. Uh, I mean, you haven't watched this, right, Harrison? I mean, I'm assuming. I have not, no. Okay. Yeah, I haven't either. Um, yeah. What is this about? I guess, first off, Justice, is this about the team you expected to see from, um, from Zeke? Um, this is a little different from what I expected. I think um, I, I wasn't expecting Septile, but like upon like further consideration, like further thought, I was like, oh, yeah, it would probably make sense. You know, he wants something to be able to rel reliably break Gastrodon. Sure. Um, and uh, I was definitely expecting to see Cloyster. Um, okay. So it was a relief to not see Cloyster, actually. Um, and then I, I think I was expecting Sharp also over, I don't know, maybe over Darmanitan. But then again, I understand bringing Darmanitan because it's uh, a reliable check to Corviknight. Yeah. Um, and then maybe I was a little bit surprised to see Articuno, but I don't think I should have been considering how well it did against me last time. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's kind of the bane of your, the last time you played Zeke. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah, I hope he just brings it out and just clicks Ice Beam the whole time. And <laughs> yeah, just, just un, undeserved freezes across the board. Yeah. Can't freeze Mamoswine though, so that's good. Yeah. Uh, not, it doesn't look like you need to worry about hazards, which I suppose is nice. Uh, that is nice. Yeah, I was I was a little bit worried about um, about hazards. I actually put defog on my Corviknight um, last minute because I, I knew that he only had, I believe he only has like one or two hazard setters, which are like spikes from uh, Cloyster and uh -huh. Stealth Rock from Bisharp, Bisharp I believe are yep. his only options. I mean, you um, can still get rid of screens, I guess, with the if yeah. He, if he runs, yeah, that's uh, true. Uh, I, I yeah, the screens dragapult. Yeah. Yeah, which you see sometimes. I think you brought it before, actually, when you had it last last year. Last did. Year. Yeah, I, I think I brought it two or three times, actually. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I, I like screen Dragapult. Okay. Draft specifically. What? I guess. I mean, we're about to get into it. What are you? What are you going to lead here? What are you thinking? Um, I'm thinking I lead Mamoswine because it's not threatened out by. Well, actually, never mind. Looking at his team, it's it is threatened out by about half. Yeah. More than half. Um, but I was thinking, like you know, I can just lead, set rocks. Mm -hmm. I ash. I actually had a Pasho Berry on. A mammoth swine just to guarantee that I could get up rocks in the face of Cloyster in case he wanted to run like liquidation or hydro pump or something like that. Okay. Um, but okay. Uh, otherwise, I might have run Sash to guarantee the, the rocks going up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that makes sense. Well, do you have anything to say, Harrison, before we get started? Are we just ready to jump in? No, uh, no, I think let's go into it. Okay. All right. Mammoth Swine coming out, and what do we see? We see this. Now, I'm guessing Ice Shard wouldn't kill it. Uh, does this scare you at all? Or I guess Yes, th this scares me because I don't know if it's specs. I don't know if it's banned. I don't know if it's going to set up sword stance or what it's going to do or if it's sure. just going to... You know, I, I don't know. Maybe it just straight up kills. I didn't yeah. calc to see if something would kill, but I wanted to kind mm -hmm. of preserve Mamoswine's HP. And you have a switch, safe switch, you do, you do there. have a pretty mm -hmm. safe switch. I don't 
I don't know what this thing could do to you. The no. endure. That is not yeah, that, a move. That worried me a little bit. I was like, what what do you what do you yeah, hope what to do with endure there? Yeah, I don't huh. Yeah, I have no idea. You turn out, doesn't do a lot, but you it's probably get into your chandelure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you're not too scared of a first impression here. Mm, no. Nope. No. Four times Four resist. resist. Mm-hmm. And you yeah. out- he just gives me Durant. Uh, so your scarf, I take it. I am. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. And that's really great news because that gets rid of any priority. Um, I guess there's the Aqua Jet to be concerned about um, sure, from yeah. the Earth Shifu, but uh, that's huge. And it's a and just as you had Durant last year, you know how much he can damage. Um, he can come out with just massive damage. So getting that off the table at the very beginning is really, really great. Yeah. Oh yeah. You- you, depending on his set, I don't like this. This this dragon bolt could be hard to switch into for you, but I I don't know. Yeah, like if he just has flamethrower here or something, uh, he goes for the U turn. Mm. You are rocky helmet. Did we know? Not doing much. No. Yeah. So just running rocky helmet. Um, oh, didn't realize that he had a shiny darmanitan. Ah, um, he does. Like I was telling, um, I was telling Bo and Harrison before. Um, before we got on that today is April Fool's Day and so they had different sprites for all these Pokemon um, and you know it's pretty funny I would recommend anybody to just hop on and just play a game out. or two yeah, and just kind of check out the fun sprites but fair um, yeah, didn't know it was shiny mm-hmm. uh, he, oh go ahead oh I, I was just going to say my um, uh, Corviknight is the standard OU defog set if you uh, like plug okay. it into the damage calculator. Um, just because I, I think it's pretty reliable, it's very physically bulky, and it has enough uh, special defense and HP investment to be able to live two specs shadow balls from Dragapult. Okay. Um, yeah. uh, timid yeah. specs. As someone who's but, ran uh, that a lot of times, you do got to worry about the spadef drop, though. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> I, I love this set though, um, or that that EV. Yeah, that EV spread, spread for uh, for Corvus. So what's the four? Because you got U-turn, Roost, Defog. What like did you go with Brave Bird? Uh, I went with, with Body Press body because press? I was okay. too worried about. Uh, I was too worried about Cloister. I was sure. figuring. Oh, oh yeah, it was Cloister and Bisharp. Yeah. Um, okay. I wanted to be able to damage, but sure. uh, Brave Bird in this game would have been much better because I don't see a single resist true yeah and he's he actually has the immunity uh to body press with yeah bolt, but all right well i'm assuming yeah you get the heck out of here mm-hmm. he, oh, gastro, yep. he goes in the fire punch is that chandelier flash fire just curious it is but i was worried that he might predict my switch and go for earthquake, earthquake. or something sure um that'd be pretty yeah. gutsy in the face of a corvanite what were you gonna say yes. uh harrison I was going to say, it's a pretty safe switch into the uh, Gastrodon. It's yeah. not really anything. Um, but I thought it was interesting that it came out with a Fire Punch and not a Flare Blitz. So, yeah. So I'm wondering yeah, if, he's, if he's doubled up on the Fire moves or if he's just, if he just decided not to run Flare Blitz. Yeah. yeah, typically when I see Fire Punch, that tells me Belly Drum. Um, sure. Okay. I know that it's not, you know, it's still not like the most reliable thing, but I was thinking... That would probably be a belly drum uh Darmanitan because you know you don't want to be taking all the excess yeah um, recoil from uh, mm-hmm. flare blitz but could also run fire punch if you if i don't know maybe that's all he needed to be able to take out corviknight or something and sure yeah he ran the calcs yeah. yeah yeah all right and yeah, your lefties, that makes sense. He switches out. No U-turn, so probably banded or scarfed or something, I take it then? Oh, I did the calcs, and it looks like he was just max attack. So okay. it could be scarf. I, I doubt it was banned. Um, but yeah, Especially it's just like belly max attack. Well, we yeah. don't know he's belly drum. But yeah, I was just thinking, like, I'm surprised he didn't just U-turn. Well, I guess you're right. If he's belly drum, he might not have had the, 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 the move slot to run U-turn. But... Right. Ice Beam does a good amount here. Yep. Nice big chunk there. Yeah, let's see what he does. I, he should double. Let's see. Oh, I'd be very proud of him if he doubled. He went for SD. Okay. Okay. Still let's, not scared of that, though, with a Corviknight. Probably yeah. not. Yeah. Probably not. He's got the shiny, the shiny Leo, the Articuno here, into yep. the Chad rune. 
Oh, he's lefties. Okay, so this is obviously defensive of some sort. Switches into the Darm. You go for overheat. That does so much damage. Oh, man. A chandelure and yeah, and paper and thin special defenses. Defense. Stone Edge, nice. Yep. Oh, yeah, it's not gonna do a lot. Switches back into the Articuno. All right, so he definitely doesn't have a U turn on him. Yeah, there's no way. Mm -hmm. Or he's scarfed. <laughs> True. Me, I am snow. Wow, is that is that that's a good? Uh, does that work? That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously without the question mark. Well, yeah, 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 sure. You get up the rocks here. I don't think this thing could do anything to you. What have we seen off of it so far? Like ice freeze dry and roost or something? Yeah. He defogs. Okay, that makes sense. All right, but you get another free overheat off here. Yeah, he's going to sack the arm. Sack the arm. Yeah, That's there goes Darm. Huge offensive threat. Haven't seen Ursh. I was going to say this would be a reasonable time to get Urshifu in. And here's the Here reason is. behind me. Uh, oh yeah. no! Uh, so I switched to Toros uh, because this is the the really cool tech that I wanted. I've been planning this since I first drafted Toros. Um, you know, since the day of the draft was I was hoping to run anger point okay toros because it has toros is the only pokemon with anger point that a outspeeds or shifu mm -hmm. um and b can live a banded surging strikes or a banded surging or sorry an unbanded surging strikes into aqua jet oh um, okay it's the proper defensive investment. So okay. I was hoping to get in there, and I also had the Salak Berry um, to make sure that I outspeed Dragapult, um, you know, after getting hit with the Surging Strikes, and whether it was Banded Jolly or Banded Adamant, Surging mm -hmm. Strikes would have put me into, um, would have put me into Salak Berry range. Um, and then just thinking uh oh sorry looking at the how much damage the close combat did to corviknight that tells me it's 100 percent banded yeah um yeah so I, I did the calcs and I, actually i think that would have to be adamant band um to do that much because oh no it, it would either be adamant band or like a really high roll yeah um Anyway, so I was disappointed that uh, I couldn't get my anger point strategy off. That would have been cool. Uh, what would you have gone? Because, I mean, he does have the Dragapult to just kind of switch in, like, if you were going to Yeah, go so uh, Tauros gets Throat Chop. Okay. So, that's, well, that's um, kind of risky to go against uh, him with a Throat Chop just because he's not going to take that much damage. Or, well, the, I mean, that would have done that much to uh, to, to Urshifu, right? Or, well, oh, actually, no, um, so with anger, he's point, anger point. Um, yeah, and Salak Perry, I, yeah, yeah I, I don't need to a lot. I, I have basically free reign for my move set. True. Um, so I had body slam, close combat, earthquake, and throat chop okay. as my four moves, um, which I think all together uh, at plus six can kill, kill everything on his team. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, even with, I had zero attack investment on that Tauros. It was all speed, defense, and HP. Um, well, I guaranteed I, yeah. it would have been cool. Man, yeah. what a bummer. Yeah. Alas. Well, he's he's a half defense. He takes strong helmet damage. You you turn out. Wow, that still does nothing. Um, into the chandelier. Yeah, this is basically uh -huh. just another. Well, you could shadow ball here, I guess. Yeah, yeah you do I just ball. figured mm -hmm. shadow ball is gonna chunk. Yep, it's gonna do it. KO anything that wants to switch in. Yep. And he switches in Dragapult, and I'm like, I'm faster. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know what uh, he does at this point. I mean, I, I guess he, if he had Aqua Jet on this, he, well, it still wouldn't kill. Surging strikes. Goes for the CC. Oh my goodness, he it predicts this way so hard. Yeah, and this is fully physically defensive Gastrodon. Yeah, yeah. So were you just planning on letting the Gastrodon? Oh no, you were. You did switch. Okay. That's going to be it. Oh, my gosh. I'm always so surprised by how well this thing lives everything. Like, it's insane. Yeah, Articuno's got that sky-high special defense. Surprised me, too. 
My goodness, wow. dude. I mean, uh, that's coming off of 145. Isn't it 145 base attack? Yeah, 145 special, special attack. My goodness. You overheat. And then I predict. What does he do? The, Aqua Jet here? Uh, at this point, yeah, I so know he check. can only. He can never win here because he's always going to be clicking either close combat or surging strikes or aqua jet. Mm -hmm. If he clicks surging strikes, he can never beat my gastrodon. If he clicks yeah. close combat, he can never beat my chandelure. Sure. Um, I just got the. I mean, Jolteon can come in and no kill it too. I'm true. But yeah, makes sense. Well, all right, a four zero, pretty pretty. Uh, I don't know, commanding victory. Um, I would say so. This is my least commanding victory, actually, I've had. True. Um, a 5-0 and a 6-0? Yeah. Um, well, I, I mean, even in both seasons, I think all my victories have been 5 and 6-0s up until this one. Oh, good point. Good point. So. Yeah, I mean, Urshifu is a problem. Like, he's uh, it's real hard to switch into that Pokemon. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, real scary. Yeah. Having a, a water immunity and a fighting immunity, though, makes things... Um, Makes things easier. True, <laughs> true. Yeah, you were kind of able to pivot around there and force him into weirds, especially with his banded. If he wasn't banded, I don't know. Then he's not going to hit as hard. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I like. Uh, I, I I've run protective pads or Shifu before, just because so many people run like rock. Like obviously, you surging strikes into the into the core or something, and then you get like destroyed. So. Yeah, you take like half your health from yeah. Rocky Helmet Chip, yeah. and then you know there's Ferrothorns everywhere, Garchomp mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. rough skin. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I think pads is pretty good, um, but I, I think a lot of people just want to go for the raw power, and I do not blame them. Yeah, it's, I, it's crazy. Really hard. I agree. Well, um, I don't know. Do you have anything to say before we uh, finish this off? Or. Uh, I'll say GG to Zeke, um, and good luck with the rest of your season. Yeah. Um, and good luck to everybody else. I look forward to, to watching all the other games um, for this week. Yep, yeah. What about you, Harrison? You got anything? I think I'm just. Uh, I think it was a great game. I'm bummed that the Tauros strategy didn't work out. Yeah, would have been cool. Um, I, I think an Anger Point Salisbury Tauros sweep would have been. A highlight of the season but um <laughs> that's how draft goes i mean i'm that's trying to i'm trying to think like so uh, he would have got a kill but i don't i don't know if he would have swept because uh, dragon pulled still out speeds and kills him with something right i mean uh, not with Salakberry, it doesn't i made sure that i had enough speed investment to uh outspeed max speed timid okay. dragapult with a uh with the Salakberry. okay fair enough well okay then yeah that would have been cool that would would have been pretty neat to see but uh all right well i guess there's i mean you could always bring it again there's always playoffs too if you see them again true uh, but i i yeah well all right thank you guys uh for doing this and a good game uh to both of our competitors and we'll see you guys next time thanks for watching